How's it going, OSA? Taras here, and we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite freshwater community fish families. This is the Calyctidae, the armored catfishes. You know them as the Cory cats, though. And that's because their most charismatic member are these guys, members of the Corydoras genus. So Cory catfish evolved in South America. They evolved in the drainage seepage layers of all the different river systems in the Amazon and, and vice versa. And they have evolved to become these super powerful bottom feeders. One of the things that you really need to consider with these guys is that they need a lot of phosphorus in their diet, not more so than the average fish. If you fed some of these cyprinids a bunch of phosphorus, or this melatoniidae, this rainbow fish, or even these cichlids, um, they'd probably poop out a lot of the phosphorus. Not so much with the Calyctidae. They take in the phosphorus and turn it into hard armor plating that, uh, as you can see, manifested as these armored ribs that go throughout the bodies of most Corydoras, and in some of the species actually goes over the face uh, itself. They're nice and armored. They have three characteristic spikes at two of the pectoral fins and at the dorsal fin themselves, so it helps prevent them from being eaten by predators. Despite that, they're really not that aggressive, so they're really an ideal community fish, especially when you're trying to have something charismatic that's inhabiting the bottom and constantly foraging over some of the leftover feed that maybe some of your surface feeders didn't get access to. Even though they live on the bottom, it's a little counterintuitive, but these guys need to breathe air. So if you watch your Corydoras at home, of course, one probably won't do it while I'm doing this, but eventually they'll run up every 20 minutes or so and hit the surface of the tank, and that's them swallowing a giant air bubble. And they'll bring that air bubble into their gut and then their muscles have special veins and apparatuses which allow them to tap that air bubble and secrete oxygen all throughout their body from the gut. So they have a completely different strategy than some of the fish like these cyprinids um, or these angelfish that need to take oxygen from the water or even some of the other fish like a Lyricity, like a Pleco, that has the option to take oxygen from the air but sometimes chooses not to. These guys, they always will, and because they take all that oxygen and store it in their gut, um, they have a really complex and confounding gastrointestinal system. One that uses all kinds of pneumatic air to both distribute, reorganize, and uh, optimize the digestion of all kinds of forage. Um, and as you can see, they also have these nice catfish barbels, which allow them to sense the bottom and allow them to uh, pick out, select, and consume all the good good. Speaking of good good, these guys are also united by their unique reproductive strategy. Uh, <laughs> so many uh, people that breed quarry cats will know that they lay eggs on wood, glass, and other uh, substrate in the aquaria. So if you're trying to breed them, make sure that you have uh, some loose structure that you can transport the eggs onto. Otherwise, you're gonna have to take a razor blade and try and move the eggs manually. Um, so for that reason, it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to breed. But how they breed, let's talk about that. These guys are united uh, because of their uh, sperm drinking technique. I'm reading this from the article now. Parental care in Calyonicthines is by the male. Okay, how do we get there? In Corydoras and Hoplosternum, fertilization of eggs involves sperm drinking. The female and the male form a T position where the female's here and the male's here uh, with the female's mouth over the male's genital opening and then the female will drink the sperm. And then after consuming the sperm, the female will then release both egg and sperm simultaneously herself. So there you have it. Uh, they do the sperm drinking, we have the adhesive eggs, and as a result, we have the Calyonicthes, the armored catfish. Really charismatic bottom feeders. Uh, buy some today if you want to show.